Nomenclature is a system of naming, yeah? Okay, so acid nomenclature, how do we name those chemicals that are, well, you know what they are? They're kind of ionic in that you put them together with charges, where H positive is always the cation, and then you've got a negative ion uh, to put it together with, and, and those things uh, are put together ionically, but sometimes they're hard to break apart uh, once they form, and they act very molecularly. So they're kind of in between, but when they go into solution, here's what they liberate to a great or little extent. H positive. So they're called acids. Now how do you name acids? Well, here's a little chart. And you kind of have that. Some teachers say, memorize it. Some teachers say, I'll give you the chart. It's nice when you get the chart. When you take an H positive and put it together with something that ends in ide, like chloride, and bromide and any of those ides which are just going to be found where? They're going to be found right here on the non-metal side and there's one ide over here you have to worry about in the polyatomic chart and that's cyanide. The ides become hydroblankic acid. So for instance, if somebody says put together hydrochloric acid, well you always put H positive in an acid. Chloric, hydrochloric acid is hydrogen with blank ide, so it's chloride. So it's H positive and Cl negative, and that's HCl and always put AQ. So that's done. HClAQ is how you write the formula for hydrochloric acid. Sure. If you have an H positive with an ite, then it becomes an us acid. So the ites are going to be found on a polyatomic ion chart. So Something like this one right here. <laughs> okay, H2SO3, well, what is that? That's a formula that you're going to have to figure out how to actually make that acid name. First of all, it's got H in front and it's got AQ, so you know it's an acid, because acids are always H positive in front. Sometimes it's not in front, just one time, I'll show you. And it's going to be an aqueous because it's dissolved in water, it's in solution. So what's this? This is hydrogen and what is this? When you look it up on the polyatomic ion chart that is sulfite, S-U-L-P-H or F, I-T-E. So that's sulfite. Hydrogen with sulfite is blank us acid, sulfurous acid. We just put an extra er in there to make it sound better. So this one would be called sulfurous acid. When it ends in ite, you actually put on the O-U-S acid. And the last one, of course, is the ic. So when you've got an eight compound, it becomes an ic acid. So if you were given a name nitric acid, and you said, well, give a formula for that. Okay, it's H positive with, well, because it's an ic, just ends in, not hydro ic, but just ic, that would be ic acid, hydrogen with eight. This is nitrate. Nitrate, where is it? It's on the polyatomic ion chart, NO3 with a negative one charge. H is positive one. And so you're going to get HNO3. Don't forget the AQ. Okay, what's this one right here? Hydroiotic acid. So you look and go, uh, hydro. Hydro blanket, hydroiotic. So that was hydrogen with iodide. Hydrogen is positive one. Iodide on the chart, it's an ide, it's a one negative, so it's HI, I, aqueous. Okay, oh, that one where the H can be at the end. Okay, if you are given CH3, COOH, AQ, that's an acid. When you have a COO, that's an organic type of molecule called an organic acid. And organic acids that end in COO, well, that's made up of CH3 with a COO negative. Now, you think, well, okay, well, H positive should go in the front, or any kind of, of cation should always go and be written in the front. But for these organic molecules, which have carbon and hydrogen and oxygen in them, uh, when you see the COO part with a negative one charge, you put that cation at the end. So, that's the exception. So, I know there are a lot of exceptions, and I'm sorry about that. When you take that with a negative and with a positive one charge to make it an acid, 
that becomes this formula here, which is CH3COOH. Now, how do you name that? Well, you've recognized that that COO part right there, that CH3COO part, is a polyatomic ion. You look on the chart, it's acetate. Acetate, there it is, ends in 8, so it is going to be acetic, so we say acetic acid. And that's a little bit of acid nomenclature.